I think you see what's going to happen over the next five years. One needs to look at what's happened over the last ten. And I think uh, what's happened over the last ten is the emergence of this really nice segment of customers called the millennials. Uh, now these are folks who basically grew up at a time when uh, India began to shine. They have had access to media across uh, you know, various channels, etc. And Doordarshan was potentially not the only option of television that they watched, and uh, they got a chance to you know get exposed to various uh, styles, fashion, etc., etc. Right. These customers are future confident. They are uh, early adopters, mm -hmm. and the good news is that over the next five years, these customers are going to become uh, householders. That means that they'll have disposable incomes, and they'll be looking to consume uh, various products and services based on the disposable income they have. And uh, I think that's one key trend which augurs very well. For e-commerce in in India over the next five years, I think also in terms of the way customers interact with technology uh, is going to change. We all know mobile is big. Uh, mobile e-commerce is still small, but over a period of time, with uh, mechanisms which uh, enable the mobile ecosystem, which is potentially a one-click checkout, uh, uh, an electronic wallet, uh, you would see mobile uh, commerce really taking. I think spends from brands would be in three parts. Okay. One would be in actually setting up the technology infrastructure. My guess that's easy to do. Yeah. Potentially between 10 to 25 lakh rupees should see you up with the store. The second part is actually marketing your products. Now mm. a lot of the brands spend a lot on marketing even in the offline world, right. and that drives in turn traffic back right. to their online stores right. and vice versa. Right. 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 right so uh, that is something which each brand decides how much mm. they wish to spend. Mm. Must be. Um, must be running into the crores, right? Uh, and then the third is giving a great customer experience. Right. Now, uh, a lot of the brands, for example, are those who are not into retail directly uh, are used to a bulk supply chain. Okay. And I think that's a learning curve that most brands have had. I think there are three questions that customers ask when uh, they look to buy a product online. The first question is, is it safe for me to use my credit card? Uh, I think a lot of that has been addressed by the fact that travel sites have provided an incredibly great proposition to customers to actually use their credit card or buy products. Online. The second uh, question that customers ask is, will I get the same product that I wanted? Yeah. Because they're not seeing the product in front of them. Right? Uh, I think that comes with a education. B, it comes with providing lots more information to customers uh, than potentially today folks provide. And I think that's again a trend that's begun to happen. Customers are increasingly getting up. The third is, are there any hidden conditions to my purchase? That's the third question that comes from us. And I think increasingly with great returns policies, almost free shipping across the board, etc., etc., lots of good sites are uh, ensuring that customer trust is built on the third question also.